What is going on guys? I am back with part 6 for this tutorial on how to build a large traditional house. Here in this video we are going to be doing the interior furnishings for the first floor of the house. Okay, first, before we actually do anything, let's start putting all of the sea lanterns in the ceiling so we get some light going through the house. So I'm just going to be using the jungle trap doors along with the sea lanterns. So I'm just going to go through every room and just start adding them in the ceiling until you feel like there's enough light. So I'll just put them in the corner for this room, we'll cover it up, and we'll leave it at that. So yeah, I'm just going to head through the entire house and just start adding some sea lanterns. I'll show you what it looks like after I have it done. We'll probably add a couple in the floor in here, which, uh, you know what, I'll go ahead and show you. So right here, I'll just dig down two blocks. Let's grab this white concrete. We'll switch out that dirt block, have a sea lantern, then cover it up with a trap door. So it's on the same level as the main floor itself. It's not higher like that. It's on the same level. We'll have another one over here. And then we'll do the same as the other side. We'll just match it up. Okay, so we have those. I guess we'll go ahead. You know what? We'll have one more. We'll have two more over here. So one here. And let's see. We have three spaces. So this is a little bit uneven. We'll go ahead and have another one right here. So I'll leave it at that for the lights in the floor. And then we'll go ahead and have some in the ceiling. So I'm just going to go through the entire house. We did all of these, okay? So yeah, I'm just going to go through and add a bunch of sea lanterns just on the first floor. We'll worry about the second floor and the final video after this. Okay, there we go. I did the lights in the ceiling for the garage now, and that should be bright enough. So, uh, by the way, we're not going to be doing anything here in the garage. If you want to add some vehicles, you could uh, go ahead. I have a couple tutorials on vehicles, but I don't think I actually have any on a car. Maybe I could do that in the future. Uh, but yeah, I just leave the garage up to you guys. But like I said, maybe I could do a vehicle tutorial sometime in the future. So, we'll go ahead and start... Maybe we'll start in this bedroom over here. It's very small. Just have a bed, maybe a desk over here, uh, like a dresser or something on uh, this side, carpet in the middle. So let's get on to doing that. Let's just gather up some of the blocks we're going to be using. Okay, I gathered up some of the blocks we're going to be using here in this bedroom. So I have orange concrete, light gray concrete, dark oak planks, dark oak wood slabs, dark oak wood stairs, and then some snow. Okay, so we'll start with the bed, which is going to be here at the back side. So you could grab some dark oak wood planks. We'll place two, and then another two on top of it right here at this corner. Then you can switch to the orange concrete. We'll place two here. Then two light gray concrete, and then four more orange concrete. Back to the dark oak planks. We'll place two, and then two slabs on top of that. We'll go ahead and have two layers of snow and then one right there to act as pillows. All right. So there we go. We'll probably just leave it at that for the bed. Then I want a desk right here. So we'll switch to the dark oak wood stairs. We'll place one facing in that direction and in that direction. And then a slab in the middle. We'll go ahead and switch back to the stair again. And we'll place a chair there. And now let's go ahead and grab some of our other blocks or first let's go ahead and have a piece of furniture here so we'll switch to the dark oak planks maybe we'll go ahead and just have like a dresser right there this is looking good i like it and then on the side of that dresser maybe we'll just grab birch wood trap doors so it looks like drawers or like storage and then on top of this and on our window seal and some stuff here on our desk we'll go ahead and add some decorations so we'll clear all of this and we'll grab those. So first for our chair, 
we'll grab an item frame and then we also need a door so we'll go ahead and grab whichever door uh normally i would use like the iron door but to match the wood for the stair maybe we'll just have like a dark oak door although it looks a little weird you know what doesn't look that bad and though i have item frames on the side yeah that looks fine and then we'll go ahead we'll grab a pressure plate and then a stone button a painting maybe a flower pot a fern a zombie head and a creeper head okay so here on the desk we'll place a well first i kind of want to place the blocks first all right so let's just grab any block and uh replace your door and we got to place the painting like that so this is going to look like a laptop screen that will have a stone pressure plate and a stone button and there we go we have a laptop with a keyboard and mouse here on the left i was going to actually have a flower pot but maybe we'll have a lamp there instead to give off extra light so we'll put the flower pot here and then a fern and then for extra decorations where the window seal is we'll just have a zombie head here and maybe a creeper head uh, we'll do it in that direction like that over here we'll go ahead and actually have another lamp and maybe a flower pot with a different type of flower like the lily of the valley that's cool we'll switch out the fern and then let's grab an end rod we'll clear all of that we'll grab an end rod and an orange concrete block to match the bed so we'll have the end rod right there and then on uh, the desk as well then a block of orange concrete like that all right that looks good we'll have a small carpet right here so let's go ahead and grab that so sea lanterns and that will do orange and light gray so sea lanterns to fill in this hole and that will just have orange here and then maybe another orange here and then light gray to kind of do something like that that looks cool and you know what maybe one final thing we'll have uh maybe another creeper head on top of the dresser like that and there we go i think that's good oh maybe we could have a painting here i would have one right here but i don't want it to be too close to the laptop screen because it might look a little weird let's have one right here so we'll carve out a hole and then we'll have a sea lantern and then we'll go ahead and grab the painting we'll cover up the sides have one i like that one that one's cool all right and there we go We'll go ahead and leave it at that for this bedroom. Should we add some shelves here, actually? Let's grab these slabs. We'll have a shelf like that. And then another one right around there. On top of this, we'll have a flower pot. With whichever flower, maybe the azure bluette. Like that. And then on top of this, another zombie head. Okay. And there we go. I think that is good now. We filled up this room pretty well. A nice small room, but it has a lot to it. Okay, now we'll head on to the front hallway right here. So this is going to be really simple. Maybe we'll just have a table here and a table here with a carpet in the floor. So let's go ahead. We'll grab the dark oak wood stairs and slabs again. And we'll make a similar table here. So how about we just do a stair, a slab, and a stair like that. Or maybe we could flip it around like that or do it how the desk is it's all up to you maybe we'll just leave it like that I haven't really done a design like this in a really long time we'll go ahead and have a similar table right here just a little bit bigger okay and then we'll carve out a rectangle here and we'll fill this in with sea lanterns and we'll cover it up with the carpet so let's grab sea lanterns we'll fill this in Let's grab some flower pots as well, maybe a wither and regular skeleton skull, and then an end rod, and maybe a brown concrete block. So for all the decorations on the tables, we'll have a flower pot here. Oh, I never even grabbed a flower. Uh, maybe here actually we could have, yeah, we'll have the flower pot, and then we'll, we'll grab a flower in a second, and then we'll go ahead and have skeleton skulls on each side of that okay and then over here we'll have a an end rod and then a brown concrete block we'll have a wither skeleton skull there and a flower pot right there 
Okay. So now, let's go ahead and clear that. We'll grab some flowers. How about just the lily of the valley? We'll fill that in and that in. Okay, we'll probably just leave it like that for the tables. You could add another thing right here. Maybe we'll go ahead and just have another zombie head right there. Okay. So now for the carpet, uh, we'll use brown carpet, light gray, and gray. So we'll start with the brown right here, and we'll add a little design like that. And then we'll switch to the light gray and do it right there. And then to the gray. And we'll go ahead and leave it like that. We'll have a painting right here on the wall. So we'll fill this in with sea lanterns and grab the painting. And I like that one. Matches very well. And we won't really have anything over here. So there we go. We have the front hallway all done. Just a little bit of simple decorations. Now we'll head on to the living room. So at the original build, the living room just had a couch right here in the middle and that was about it in this entire area there was just like a couch and like a table and stuff there wasn't much at all so with the floors being the way that they are now uh not slabs but full blocks we'll be able to have a lot more it is a really big area but i think we'll definitely be able to still fill it in so let's go ahead and get on to doing the living room next so we're going to start by doing the couches first i have brown concrete and quartz slabs and I have some sort of an idea of what I want to do. So we'll start with the brown concrete. We want to make sure we leave four spaces in between the wall and the couch. So we're going to be on the fifth block. And then we want to leave three spaces of wood away from the quartz here from the corner. So we have one, two, three. So we're going to be on the fourth block like that. And then we left four spaces here. So we have that block of brown concrete. We'll place an extra two. We'll go over to the right of it and we'll place one, two, three, four, five. Back to your quartz slabs. And we'll just wrap it around the side of the brown concrete like that. Then we'll bring this out an extra layer. So two blocks like that. We'll bring it over with filling in three blocks here. And then we'll fill all of this in. And there we go. We'll leave it at that for the couch design. I think that looks good. And now we'll have another two chairs on this side. So we'll line it up. We'll leave here. At first, let's have a table like right around here. Yeah, that looks good. And then we'll start with the brown concrete. We're going to leave two spaces. So one, two, we'll start it right here and we'll place a chair like that. Or is that too close? I feel like that's too close So shift it back. And then we'll skip over one block and we'll have another couch there. And it all lines up. Alright, so there we go. We have something looking like this. And now what I want to do, as you can see, it kind of looks a little bit modern. So if we add a little bit extra to the couches, we can make it have more of a traditional look. So let's try to do that. Let's grab some dark oak wood stairs. Or should we use, here let's go ahead and use the spruce wood stairs. And I'll have one in this direction and in this direction, and then one upside down in the middle. We'll do it on this side as well. Okay, so that adds a little bit more. And then for the couch here, we'll have one like that and like that. And then we'll just curve all of these around. I think that looks good. So that adds a little bit more to the couches. Let's go ahead and carve out a square all the way around, one block around the edge of the couches. And then we'll cut out all of the space within it and we'll fill it in with sea lanterns and cover it up with the carpet. So all of this space here. Now let's grab sea lanterns. So now we have that all filled in and that is giving off a lot of light now. So it's not going to look so dark. And then let's grab some carpet. So I'll use brown, white, light gray, and gray. We'll start with the brown. 
And you know what? We'll go on to this corner with the brown. And we'll just start filling it in randomly. You could have it however you want. And I think that is good. Or maybe a little bit more. It's a pretty big area. Okay, I like that. And then we'll switch to the white. And we'll have it all throughout here. And then we'll have the light gray in the middle. Around the table. An extra two there should be good. And then we'll have the gray around this back side. Okay. And I think that looks pretty cool. Now, uh, let's see. Alright, so first let's do the store or the uh, the shelves over here. Blocks of quartz and some quartz stairs, maybe even quartz slabs, and we'll start shaping this out. So we'll start with the full blocks of quartz. We'll place one here and one there. And then how about one in the middle? So let's bring these up. And we'll stop it. How about right there? Or what about one block taller? Uh, you know what? Yeah, we'll leave it like that. And we'll have some slabs here. And then how about here? And then maybe some stairs. We'll shift this up. I try. I want to try to kind of make it a little bit uneven from the other side. And we'll cover this up with slabs like that. So yeah, I'm not sure how this is going to work. So maybe it's not going to. So we'll just have stairs down there. Or should we curve these? Have them on their side? That looks pretty cool, right? Yeah, we'll do that. So there we go. Kind of like a little storage area. And then let's start decorating it. We'll grab a bunch of... There's not very many decorations here on PS4, but I'll grab these skeleton skulls, a zombie head, creeper head, flower pot, fern, lily of the valley... And then, how about some color, like the blue orchid and the orange tulip. Alright, so we'll start with a skeleton skull. We might also want some lights on here as well. So we'll put a skeleton skull there, a wither one there, and then maybe just a zombie one there. Or how about in the other direction? How about right there? Uh, no, I want it here. Okay, now... We won't use the creeper head. We'll have a flower pot here. And uh, not there. That's too much. Right there. And right there. And then we'll fill this in with the lily of the valley. This one in with a fern. And this one with the blue orchid. And now. Let's see. If we make this a skeleton skull instead. And then we'll have some lanterns to fill in those other two spaces. So it adds a little extra light here on this wall. Okay, so I'll just switch out any of the blocks. I don't think we could place it underneath. No, because that's like, uh, if this had a little block right here, then we could and hang it down. But that's not the case. We'll just place it like that. And there we go. I think that looks pretty cool. Here in this corner, let's uh, maybe start adding some bushes. So I'll grab a spruce log oak leaves and then the jungle trap doors well i have one right here at the corner so just a log three oak leaves and jungle trap doors on the side so we're gonna add a little bit of greenery now we'll do the same here in this corner so we'll leave it like that probably with the bushes i can't really add one i mean we could add one here but i think that would be too much as you can see, it's kind of a little cramped. So we'll just leave that empty. And then let's have... So we'll just have a table. Let's grab spruce width stairs. And then slabs. Because I kind—I don't want like uh, a table as the same block as the floor here. So go ahead and have a spruce width stair like that. And then a slab. We'll do the same on uh, this side right here. And then we'll have a stair, a stair, and then two slabs. So it's a really big table like that. And now we'll go ahead and decorate this up a little bit. We'll use an end rod, a dead bush, a flower pot, a fern, a wither skeleton skull. Uh, let's go ahead and grab brown concrete for the lamp. So we'll have a lamp right here and or maybe one block over. Is then the brown concrete. We'll have a wither skeleton skull facing in that direction. A flower pot here with the fern. And you know what? We'll leave it like that. We don't want to overdo it. I think that looks good. I kind of want like uh, 
Is there a way? Okay, there we go. I kind of want that. So it kind of matches a little bit. It's all brown. On the side of the table, we could add an item frame and a birch trap door. So it looks like a drawer with a handle. One here, here, and then maybe two in the middle. And then we'll place these and flip them around. So now it looks like a drawer. Okay, I think that's cool. And now we'll probably just leave it at that for the living room. So I think this is a lot more than what we had at the original build. So yeah, at the original build, I had like a couch like this and that was basically all there was. I think we filled it up pretty well. Um, we could fill in a little extra space though, I feel like. So let's, here, let's grab those birch, those birch wood doors again, trap doors. Let's have more quartz and we'll have a storage thing. So we'll place a total of six blocks and then we'll also grab these slabs and place them on top. And that will cover up this front with birch trap doors. So now there's kind of just like a storage area there. And I think that filled it in pretty well. It was a little empty over there. I want to add something. Okay, keep in mind we still have to do the hot tub and the table back here on the deck. We'll do that last. But yeah, I think that should be good for the living room. Let's add some paintings on the walls. So I don't think I want that one there. But right here we'll carve out four. And maybe we'll just try to have one right here. Alright, yeah, that's good. So let's fill this in with sea lanterns. Okay, there we go. And then we'll grab our painting. So we'll have a four block painting here. I like that one, it matches well. And then over here, I just want two small ones. Uh, I don't want that one. Alright, so that, and then another one above it. There we go, that looks good. And now, I think we'll leave it at that for the living room. It should be bright enough. I think we filled it in pretty well. And I think it looks good. All right, now, let's head on to the kitchen. Okay, I went ahead and grabbed some spruce wood, and I'm gonna start marking out where the sink and the counters are and the ovens, the table and all of that are going to be. So, we'll go ahead and just place maybe one, two, three, four, five like that. We'll go over here. Well, actually, we'll probably have a sink right here. Or we'll probably have it here. Maybe in the corner, actually. So go ahead and delete that. Leave that empty. And then we'll place one, two here. We'll skip over two. And then place another uh, three like that. Okay. So I'm thinking, should we have the oven here? Or the oven here? Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. So we'll have that as counter. This is where the sink is going to be, right there in the corner. We'll have a fridge here. So we'll leave two spaces on each side. And we'll place one, whoops, one, two. And then one, two, three. And then one there. Should we have it a little bit bigger on uh, this side? So it lines up with that. Yeah, I think that's good. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and grab some furnaces and then hoppers. Then we'll go ahead and grab the lever and item frame. Then we need full blocks of quartz, quartz stair, and quartz slabs. So we'll start with the furnaces. We'll place two here. That's where the ovens are going to be. We'll have a hopper here and here for the sink in the corner. And then we'll have two blocks of quartz, then two like that, one above it, upside down quartz stair, and quartz slabs above that, on top of that. Okay. And now. Let's go ahead and switch back to the spruce wood. We'll leave one block of space and we'll have a bunch of storage up here. We'll just stop it right on the edge of the sink or should we bring it over? Yeah, we'll go ahead and have the sink here and we'll delete this and replace it with blocks. All right, now let's go ahead. We'll have the levers pointing down here and then item frames behind that on the wall. Uh, we'll go ahead and continue with our quartz. We'll go right up above here. We'll look straight up. We'll place two like that so it's aligned up with the ovens right here. We'll bring bring it down another two. And then let's grab item or not item frames, sea lanterns. So let's switch out the item frames. We'll place two like that. Then we'll have blocks of quartz going around the sides of the lanterns. And then quartz slabs in the corner. And then a layer of quartz slabs underneath. And to cover up those sea lanterns, we'll go ahead, we'll switch out the lever, grab jungle trap doors, 
and cover those up. And then let's go ahead and grab a wooden pressure plate so it looks like a cutting board and we'll place it here on the island. So maybe just the oak one, we'll switch out the, the uh, trap door. I have it right there. All right, and now let's grab dark oak wood slabs. Actually, no, let's do the spruce wood slabs. And we'll have a layer on top of cabinets here. And then to add a little bit more to the sides, so it looks like there's actually some storage there. We'll grab birch trap doors. I'll switch out the hopper. And we'll cover up all of this here. Like that. What if we... I think I tried this before. Where I cleared this out. Like uh, this. Should we leave it like that? Yeah, we'll go ahead and leave it like that. And now let's cover up this entire side. With more birch trap doors. And then we're going to have something a little different in the corner. Let's crouch add all of these and then here at the corner we'll delete that and that you know what let's just go ahead and have the full blocks and we'll just cover up the side with an item frame and then we'll go ahead and fill this in with birch trap doors and flip them around like that okay i think this all looks good the reason why i'm using wood by the way is because i feel like it looks more traditional what if we add in an extra layer going out here? And then I originally had the dining room table right here. It wasn't a very big one. So we shift this over one block. Like bring it in right here. And then this will go... Oh, I should have grabbed it. Hang on. We'll place it just right there. Alright. Now, yes. Now we have enough space for the table. So we'll just place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and 11 12 13 14 so this would be a big table right here so switch to the spruce wood stairs we'll place three on each side of the table so there's six chairs in total and then we'll go ahead and grab dark oak wood doors and place them behind those stairs and then on the sides of those stairs, we'll grab the item frames and place them on the side like this. And now on top of the table, we'll clear all of this as kind of getting a little unorganized. How about just weighted pressure plates like we normally would? Like that. We'll go ahead and grab an end rod and a... I don't think I want brown in here. We'll go ahead and have light gray. We'll have an end rod in each corner and a lamp. Like a gray concrete block so it forms a lamp. So that gives off enough light for that area. Alright. And now we'll have a breakfast area over here. We could have more chairs here, but we'll just have it on this side. So let's switch to the spruce wood stairs. We'll place them upside down. Just uh, right in between these walls here. And then we'll grab full blocks of spruce wood. And we'll go ahead and fill in all of this space behind it. Switch back to the spruce wood stairs. We'll place one here and here. And then in the opposite direction. So it looks like high chairs. Should we do this differently? Yeah, we'll go ahead and just grab some dark oak wood slabs. You know what? No, we'll do the, we'll do the spruce slabs so it all matches. And I want to place a layer on top of this. So now the chairs and the table are kind of at the same height. It's a little bit taller than like a normal table would be. And now we'll have some shelves here and maybe another set there. That seems like too much of the same wood. <laughs> Should we do something a little bit different? How about dark oak wood stairs down below here? Because I think that'll look better. I feel like it's a little bit too much spruce wood. Okay, how's that look? That's a little bit better. And then we'll have some dark oak wood slabs for the shelves. There we go. That's better. So now... Let's go ahead and decorate this a little bit. We're just going to be able to place stuff on the shelves because the table has a slab on it. So we're not going to be able to place anything on it. So I have a flower pot. How about a dead bush, a fern, lily of the valley, azure bluette. And then we'll also grab some lanterns. So I have a flower pot here. 
maybe right there or how about right there is there and then there that actually looks pretty cool i wasn't planning it to be even like that but that looks cool we we'll have a dead bush a fern the lily actually it's uh oh man let's uh get rid of that we'll put the smaller flower up there so it doesn't get cut off by the ceiling we'll have the dead bush there then the lily of the valley and then the azure bluette oh wait i already had that one that's the fern okay that looks good and now let's have maybe some lanterns here and then on the top we'll just leave it empty okay all right there we go i think that looks good let's have a carpet right here at the floor we'll just carve out a rectangle and uh fill this in with sea lanterns we'll cover it up how about green and gray and that's it so we'll have green on this side and then the gray they actually we'll have more gray like that there we go so that adds a little bit of color in here and then let's start adding some paintings on the walls and then we'll head on to the deck after we do the deck we'll leave it at that for this episode actually or for this part let's go ahead and have an end rod and a light gray concrete block here in the corner for a lamp maybe a little extra here so let's have a flower pot with a an azure bluette like that and then right here oh wait let's also grab some buckets of water and then some powered rails we'll crouch here and fill this in with water for the sinks and then we'll crouch here and add powered rails on top of the furnaces okay let's also add some birch trap doors here on this side where the island is like that and then we'll have a flower pot right around there we'll just have a fern okay that's good and now let's clear all of that we'll grab our sea lanterns and some paintings okay and we'll have one right here so we'll carve that out fill that in we'll have one right here and i think that's about it so let's uh fill that in that's good and then this one will have two small paintings so like that and like that perfect okay and i think we'll go ahead and leave it at that for the kitchen i think we filled it in pretty well we could have a little table right here let's go ahead and do that let's grab the birch or the uh spruce wood stairs we'll just place two side by side on top of this we'll have an end rod a light gray concrete block and a wither or just a regular skeleton skull okay now i think we are done with the kitchen area wow we filled that in a lot okay there we go i think that looks good all wood so it has a nice traditional look all the walls are brown i think that looks really nice okay we also added a little bit of quartz as well so it's not too much and i think that looks good so the final thing we have left to do here in this part is the back deck. So we're going to have like a hot tub over here and then just a table so you could possibly eat outside. So we'll get on to doing that. Let me get rid of my potion. It's actually about to run out. So yeah, let's get on to doing this and we'll leave it at that for part six. So now here for the back deck, go ahead and grab some jungle fences, dark oak wood slabs and spruce wood slabs, light gray concrete quartz stairs and blocks of quartz and then a water bucket we'll start with the full blocks of quartz and we're gonna have a table here on this side so we'll just leave we're one at five blocks so we have one two three four five like that and then we'll carve out another row of five there we'll fill this in with full blocks of quartz so it's lined up with this part here one space from that side we basically have like one here and then the stair that's there on top of that let's have a layer of spruce wood slabs we'll carve out a hole here and right here we're gonna delete that and fill it in with a block of dark oak wood slabs we'll go here and do the same thing so this is where the chairs are going to be so you can fill this in with a jungle fence and then a quartz stair on top of it so they're like high chairs and I think that's good. 
It's the same design that we did over there. I still thought it looks pretty cool. So we'll go ahead and do it. Now we'll have a hot tub over here and then that's it for the back deck. So we'll carve out one, two, three, four, one, two, three, one, two, three, and then two there like that. We'll carve out this space in the middle and then around the edge, we'll fill it in with light gray concrete. We'll have a layer of spruce wood slabs on top of this. Delete this grass. We'll fill it in with light gray as well. We'll fill this in with some buckets of water. And then we'll have a slab and the floor here, or basically like a full block, but it looks like a slab like that. So you could walk into the hot tub. And there we go. All right, actually, are you able to get out? Yeah, with the new update, yeah, you could get out of it. All right, so there we go. Now we have the back deck done. And that is all we're gonna do. Actually, it's nice and bright in here as well. Now that I don't have the potion on, we can see how bright it is. There's a little darkness glitch here. I guess what we could do... Ooh, that makes it worse. Uh, what if we do something like that to get rid of that darkness glitch? And then you could imagine... Uh, that there could be a little bit of stuff on here like in real life So I guess we'll leave it like that. I think I might have originally did that to get rid of that darkness glitch So we'll go ahead and do it here as well. So there we go All right Now I think we did everything remember we're gonna leave the garage empty So there we go. I think it looks really nice So in part 7 we'll be finishing the build and we just have all of the interior stuff here on the second floor Okay guys, that's going to be it for part 6 for this tutorial on how to build a large traditional house. If it helped you, be sure to please leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you guys in part 7, we'll be finishing the build. Later.